Hi, Frank Day here. This video is to help you to understand what's involved in changing the cranks from your regular cranks to power cranks on your bicycle. While it cannot be comprehensive because every crank system is a little bit different, it can, it, we're, it's intended to give you the basic principles needed to make this change so you can understand and you can do it yourself. If you have any questions, you should ask your local bike shop for help. The first thing that's necessary is to take your cranks off. In general, this is done by using an 8 millimeter Allen wrench and backing off on the crank bolt on the bicycle. In some instances, the backing off in this crank bolt will actually pull the cranks off. It has a self-extraction feature. In others, the crank bolt comes off and then you're going to have to use a crank removal tool to uh, remove the cranks as shown. And of course, then you have to repeat this on the other side. You'll then take the power cranks and fit it onto the bottom bracket and use the crank bolt that you took out use, uh, that were holding on your regular cranks. If you forget to take off the little plastic cover, be sure to remove it now as shown. This can interfere with the in cap. Then tighten up the power cr the crank bolt onto the bottom bracket. You can use the power cranks as a counter torque on the left side. On the right side you have to use have the uh, chain ring hooked up and use the wheel to hold it as a counter torque. Next thread on the end cap all the way down till tight. A quarter is an ad usually an adequate tool to do this job. Next, make sure that there's no binding that the cranks turn backwards freely and once this is done this side is pretty much done. Next we have to deal with putting on the chain rings. After you've taken your chain rings off to your old cranks they now need to be installed onto the power cranks. Here we're showing putting on a set of triple as you can see, now it starts to get dirty. Note how I've started here with the small chain ring, but do, notice that I do not tighten down totally on these uh, bolts until I get the other fasteners in place. Otherwise, one cannot get the other fasteners in place and you have to take it and loosen them again. So just be aware of this if you have a triple chain ring. Otherwise, uh, the, just do these and uh, get all the thing, uh, fasteners in place and uh, tighten them down snugly. Are you good yeah, to come I think back? I'll, instead of coming back for a week and then going back to get for for Christmas, so I'll just stand right there and probably come here right in the new year and start looking for a job and whatnot. Or finishing up grad school actually. Sure. Whichever comes first. So grad school costs a few dollars. Yes, it does. And going in a location, how long that's going to take you. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go back to, to Berkeley. Right now as we speak. Well, Michael will fi figure that out that he's not lined up as soon as he goes over to Ber Berkeley Hills. He goes, hey. Next, we put the. Um, the, the chain ring on the or the this crank on the bicycle and the uh, secret here is that you have to put the uh, chain onto one of the uh, chain rings and then slip it onto the uh, bottom bracket and then you put the crank bolt in and you have to have the chain on because otherwise there's no way you can get counter torque uh, to get it tightened down um, so you're going to use the wheel of the bicycle, you can hold on to the wheel and provide the counter torque if the chain is on. Uh, you watch this. Note also that we've taken the uh, crank off of the spindle adapter uh, to help uh, make it a little more obvious as to what we're doing, uh, but it's not necessary to take the crank off in order to stall the cranks. Ugh. Whoops, I didn't clean it all down. 
Once the end cap is back on, notice how the crank bolt and the end cap interface with each other here. Next job is to install the pedals. Uh, it's helpful to use the uh, freewheeling backward nature of the clutch to help tighten the pedals. You can see how easy it is to get them tightened. Of course, this makes it a little harder getting them off, uh, but uh, you just go backwards with it and it'll tighten right up till you hit the stop, then snug it up and you're through. Voila, power cranks are installed.